Okay, let's assume that you want to create a course from scratch. Courses live under categories, and so here we can click on teacher training, and we'll see a list of the current courses. The course we want to create is a new one, so add a new course. This opens up the course settings. We can give the course a name. Let's say Hamburg C6 2010. We can give it a short name, which will appear in the top uh, in the top uh, toolbar or menu line. We can, if we like, write a summary, but I don't normally bother. And down here under Topics, uh, under Format, choose Topics Format and give it as many topic areas as you need. I'm going to say 8 to be safe. Everything else can stay the way it is. Enrollments can stay the way it is, unless you want to set specific dates for that. If you want students or the teachers to be notified when enrollments are expiring, we can notify that. And here we can give a password. Let's say the word Alster. Do not allow guests in if you want to keep the class private. Down here at the bottom, save changes. And your class has been made. You now need to assign roles. Typically this means assigning teacher roles. Here you have a list of all users and at the bottom a search field. Use that to search for a teacher that you need. Here's the person I want. Now they're a teacher. If I click up here on the short link, I enter the classroom and we can see that there's nothing in it. Here's where it gets interesting. Under administration, we have import as an option. If we select import, we can choose from courses that you have taught in or courses in the same category. I'm going to take Berlin CELTA uh, to the, uh, course 7 and use this as the template for my course. Some things I don't want. For example, the news forum I don't need. And if I go down, I would find also examples of other documents that perhaps I don't want, such as the TP schedules and the course timetable because those aren't relevant for my course in Hamburg. Everything else looks at least interesting, so I'll keep it. Down at the bottom, these options can stay the same. Click on Continue to start the import process. You're then presented with a list of all of the content, and down at the very bottom, a Continue button. Press it. Depending on how much data you have to transfer and your connection, this can take some minutes. But eventually, your screen will fill with information about the documents that have been transferred and you'll have an option to continue. Here we are. If we scroll down to the bottom, continue. Notice it says do not click on that link. Let Moodle do its job. Here you can see it's copying and writing the files across. And again, this stage can take some time depending on your connection. And depending primarily on how much data there is to transfer. And as we scroll down, we can see that each of these things is being written. And here it's complete. And if I press continue, I will be taken back to my classroom 
and here we can see everything is in the place that it should be all nicely laid out now up at the top I notice the news forum is not where it should be it should be under this heading so if I turn editing on then I'm able to drag and drop the forum to where I want it to be. Notice also that I've got under upcoming events these assignments and notice that the dates are no longer relevant. Those are the dates from the course that we exported this from. So one of the first things I need to do now is to change those dates but you already know how to do that. So let's turn editing off and that's it. That's how you make a course. Over to you.